Hi, it's Janice from the Indianola Public Library. I have another craft for us to do today. It's really easy, but the results are really, really cool. We're gonna make our own puffy paint, and you just need three things for this. You need some shaving cream, the puffy white kind, not the gel kind. You need some white glue, and you need food coloring. Um, I have just the drop kind. If you have the gel kind, it will make the colors a little bit more vivid, but really, whatever you have will work. Um, so the first thing that you'll do is you'll put some of the shaving cream in your bowl and you don't need you don't need a whole bunch because it doesn't really keep so you just need to make enough for you to use pretty much right away because otherwise it'll dry out and it doesn't work very well. So you'll put some shaving cream in your bowl and then you'll put about the same amount of white glue it's not as puffy, so it won't look like the same amount, but it really is. Um, it's not a precise science here. We're just kind of winging it. Um, just kind of come close, and then you will mix it together. I'm just using a, a craft stick, but if you have a spoon or even just a stick that you find outside, that would work. And we're going to mix that together. And then if you want to make different colors, you'll need to separate it out so that you can add the different colors. Or And if you want to leave some white, if you want to make some clouds, puffy clouds or something, the white will work really well for that. And then once you get it all mixed together, you just add some of your food color. And I'm going to try to make some purple. So I have some pink and some blue, and we'll see what happens. Then you just mix that together. Ooh, hey, it does make purple, how about that? And if you want to, you can leave it kind of swirly like that. That would be kind of pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together, or mostly all together. And then once you have it mixed together, you can either use um, your stick or something to just kind of dab it on and make little shapes that way. That's kind of fun. Or what I like to do is use a sandwich bag to make a, um, a bag that you can use to kind of draw. So you just get a regular sandwich bag. And I use a cup because it makes it easier for me to put it inside there without getting it all over the place. So you just tuck the cup, tuck the bag into the cup, and then put some of your puffy paint in there. And then squeeze it down into one of the corners. Get it down in there as close as you can to the corner and then close it up so that it doesn't come squeezing out the other end when you roll it up together. And you can roll it kind of together and make a little bag like that. And then you will just cut off the tip. And then you've got something that you can draw with. And you, if you have some that you've already done, you can put it in there. You can make little shapes or write your name with it. Whatever you want to do. And it stays kind of puffy. And you can see these are ones that I did earlier and they've dried, but they still look kind of puffy. So those are kind of fun. I would love to see what you do with your puffy paint once you've made it. So once you draw your pictures, paint your pictures, um, go ahead and have somebody take a picture and send it to me on Facebook. I would love to see what you've done. And that is our craft for today. And then you can join us on Thursday for our virtual story time. I do a story time on Thursdays at 1030 and that will be posted on Facebook as well. So I hope to see you then. Bye.